Hey there, my name is Tilly from Tilly and Her Books and this is my final book haul for 2023. There's a mix of both romance, fantasy and a sprinkle of historical fiction in here. So the first one that I've got here is One For My Enemy by Olivia Blake. To be honest with you, I've got no idea what this book is about, but I am now on the automatic buy list for Libby Blake ever since reading The Atlas Six. Sit, Stay, Love. This one is by Amy Hutton. I got this one with some of my book birthday money. I was convinced to buy this book as soon as I started reading what it was about. It's about a woman who owns an animal shelter. Her best friend is a vet and a movie star comes into town with a fear of dogs and requires her help to get a role where he is playing alongside a dog. So he needs to build his confidence with them. And I was like, love triangle, animals, I'm definitely down for that. I also picked up this four book series, which is complete and final. It is a romanticy series. And I've actually read this already um, before I did this video. It is not the best book I've read. It's not the worst book I've read. Um, it's just an average series, but it's a very quick and easy read. It is about four different kings. Um, all of them have one common enemy and they must band together and work together to try and get rid of this one enemy, whilst also happening to fall in love. In most cases, the kings in this book apparently need to be married to get people on their side to help them fight the war. And so that means that we get forced love in a lot of these books. And it's not really forced, but there are some questionable things that happen. But yes, a romanticy. These next two books were recommended by friends. I automatically bought them. I do not know what they're about. I know that they are romance and fantasy combined. And yeah, let's just see where they go. The first one is Fear the Flames. This one is by Olivia Rosa Darling. And the second one is House of Bane and Blood by Alexis L. Menard. Hunt, Katie Roberts' Hunt on Dark Waters. This one is a romance book and I think it is a bit of a fantasy. Either way, I really love books that are based around the ocean because that's one of my favourite places. So I'm pretty keen to get into this one. The Stable Boy of Auschwitz by Henry Oster and Dexter Ford. This is a historical fiction I'm looking forward to. I no, I'm going to get my heart broken, but I'm also really uh, eagerly wanting to read this one as I do love my historical fiction and I also have a strong connection with horses, so it'll be a really interesting side of the story. Caught Up by Liz Tom Ford. This is book three in the Windy City series. Yes, the first one is Mile High and the second one is Right Move. It is a romance sports book, um, very tropey. I'm assuming and I reckon it's going to be a very quick, fun and easy read. I'm pretty eager to read this next book and that is Assistant to the Villain by Hannah Nicole Mayra and I've heard a lot of good things about this. Um, I must admit like a lot of these books that I have on my book haul list just come from different reels and TikTok recommendations and that is what this one is from. But I also love an anti-hero and that sounds exactly what this book is going to be about so I'm pretty keen to get started on this. Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. This has some amazing reviews on it and I will get around to reading it hopefully sooner rather than later. This is the story of Sam and Sadie. It's not a romance but it is about love. I actually, just reading about this book makes me feel like it's going to be super emotional. But I'm totally down for that. Of course I had to pick up Heartstopper Volume 5 by Alice Oisman. If you haven't read this, what are you doing? This is a very, very cute graphic novel. Um, there's five of them out now and they're just so heartwarming and amazing cast of characters and just really cute, fluffy reads. And the second last one that I have got is Before Your Memory Fades. This is the same author and sort of storyline as Before the Coffee Gets Cold. I'm um, actually a few books I have to catch up on before I actually read this one. And I really love the simplicity of these covers and this one has a really cute little cat on it. And the final book of my book haul for 2023 is Unravel Me by Becca Mack. This is another romance novel and I'm not too sure when I'm going to get around to reading this one, but I am very excited to. I actually don't even know if I've read the other Becca Mack books, but this is definitely not the first one, I don't think. Which means I'm either going to end up buying more books as soon as 2024 starts, or I'm going to be reading books out of order. Thank you for watching my final book haul video for 2023 and I look forward to 2024 and plenty of more reading. I am currently reading Gold by Raven Kennedy which is the fifth book in the Guild series. I wish I had more time and hours in the day to finish reading that book because it is like all my thoughts are consumed by it at the moment. Well I hope you guys have a fantastic end to your year and I'll see you guys all in 2024.